guys and welcome back to our channel. It's Philippa from We Are Twinset. Thank you so much for everyone that's logging on again. So today is another home interiors lifestyle video which I'm so excited about. And my last home video, which was nine home hacks for a stress-free life a couple of weeks ago, is one of our most viewed videos, which is so exciting for me because it just means that you guys love interiors as much as I do. So today's video I've loved preparing and I'm really enjoying filming it, so I hope you're going to love it too. Stay tuned to see my nine tips on creating a beautifully stylish festive home this season. So I'm going to keep this video a similar format as my last home interiors video. I was so excited to put this video together and plan it and prep it for you all. For those of you that don't know or any new subscribers or anyone that's new to following our videos, I moved into my home last year, last May, just before I had my son Alfie. And so last Christmas, we did a little bit of hosting, but I didn't go all out just because obviously I still had quite a newborn baby at the time. So my head just wasn't in the zone to be getting really festive and creative with the home. So this year I'm really going all out and just creating all of my dreams and everything I've always wished my festive home to look like. So I've chosen my nine top tips to share with you guys just to create that beautifully festive home. And I know I keep saying the word festive and I know I keep saying the word exciting and I did in the last video as well. I am just clearly so, so excited. This is where my real passion lies. I love all of this homeliness. It's just so, so me. So my first tip I want to show with you and share with you guys, I'm again, so excited is, I could not start with this one, this sensational fireplace garland here which has been made by a lovely friend of mine Anna from Friend of Faux and so if you can't believe it I couldn't believe it either I was totally blown away when I opened up the box to see this inside this is faux it's not real it's the most sensational piece I've only had it up the last few days but whoever's been over in my home you can't you look at it and you're just you're amazed and then you walk in you're like Okay, so it's not real, I can't smell it, but it's just, it's so beautiful and it doesn't matter that it doesn't smell of real leaves and real evergreens because I've got all the candles that do that job for me. It is something that's a real standout piece and also what I love about it is because it's not particularly that festive. So it's something that I can have in my home all year round if I wanted to. At the moment, I think I am gonna keep it up because I just love it so much. I walk into this room and if I thought I couldn't even love this room anymore, this is for me has really completed it. So it arrived from friend or foe in a beautiful box as one piece. So you may look at it and you probably think it's all different branches, but it's one set piece. It's quite heavy and um, actually my fireplace isn't too wide so I've had to use little hidden weights just to keep it firm on my fireplace but what's also really lovely about it because it's not real you can and this is one of Anna from Friend or Foe's tips is you can manipulate it you can drape it you can bend it just how you want it. I think as the season's gonna go on, I might bend it a little bit more and pull out some branches as well just to keep the flow of it going. But I've also added these lovely micro fairy lights which I think finish off the look really beautifully. So tip number two is obviously probably quite a obvious one to you all, but to invest or create a really lovely stocking for your fireplace or wherever you want to hang them. I've never actually bought myself or made a stocking before just because I guess, well last year as I said before, Alfie was way too young to start creating that kind of tradition and before that it was just Alex and I and we just wrapped presents and gave them to each other. But this year with my beautiful home, I'm just all about creating those lovely special family memories and I think it's really sweet now that Alfie is at that age where he understands what's going on. And so last year I remember when Alfie was so young, I used to 
really enjoy and take advantage of all those times he would nap on the go and he would sleep in his buggy for hours after hours. And I remember going to Selfridges during this time last Christmas when he would nap for like two, three hours at a time and walking around Selfridges Christmas floor and just taking it all in and really enjoying it and looking at my baby that was asleep and getting really excited and thinking about next year when he's that much older and can understand about going to pick and buy his Christmas treat. And I saw they had the most incredible selection of stockings. I remember looking at them and thinking, oh, they're so lovely. But I didn't buy them this last year, but this year I have, and they are, I'm going to show you the large ones first. So I've bought three, so we've got one each. For Alfie, they had this little dinky one here, which I think is so cute. And I'm gonna put this one in his bedroom just because obviously, for practical reasons, I can't fit much in there, maybe a snack or something. But I'm gonna keep that one in his bedroom. And then I've been quite creative because I've made him. I haven't finished yet, because as you can see, it's quite basic still. But I am into a bit of DIY. I'm really going back to when I was at college and university and I do really enjoy doing a bit of DIY at home. So I bought all of this from Hobbycraft. I bought the stocking, the pom-poms, the felt. It must have, I think the whole thing cost me about two pounds. Obviously you can tell the difference. This one's from Selfridges and it was a lot more than two pounds. But there's also something really lovely about creating your own stocking and having those memories to keep year after year. So I've created the base for this and then next week I'm gonna sit down with Alfie. He's just started to use felt tips and pens and crayons and things and I want him to get really creative with this and it will be something that we can keep hold of year after year. He can add stickers to it, he can add whatever he wants. This is his stocking. So to go along with these stockings, I want to show you the cutest stocking hook that I found from Cox and Cox. For those of you that don't know about Cox and Cox, I often get asked which are my favorite interior websites and Cox and Cox is by far one of them, especially this time of year. If you go onto their website at the moment, their Christmas collection is to die for. And I found these stocking hooks. They come in a few different designs. You can get the snowflakes, I think they have a reindeer and maybe a Christmas tree design. And they're just something really lovely to put on your mantelpiece to hang your stocking in a really beautifully stylish way. Tip number three, do yourself a favor and get yourself a really cozy, yummy throw to have while you're on the sofa during those lovely, long, lazy days. My favorite time during the whole festivities has got to be in between Christmas and New Year's when all of us are off work, we're lounging about, we're eating way too much cheese, way too much wine, watching Christmas movie after Christmas movie, just slogging out on the sofa and having a really cozy, soft, lovely throw to get all warm and comfortable in. Tip number four, and I know that technically this isn't a home or a lifestyle tip, but it'd be rude not to include a little bit of fashion in this video. And seeing as during the whole festive period, I only intend on staying at home in my pajamas, in lovely cashmere or tracksuits. And the furthest I think I'm gonna be willing to go is either my local park or the coffee shop. So with that in mind, I really want to have some lovely loungewear pieces. And that is a real big tip for you. I either put something like this on your wish list, or you, I'm sure you can get some amazing deals still on Cyber Monday tomorrow. So I want to show you this set from a lovely brand which is called Wise. You've probably seen me wear, I have a lovely, from last year, black oversized knit with stars over them. And why I love Wise so much is they do beautiful loungewear pieces, but with that special difference. So as you can see here, that really cool and fun rainbow stripe down the side. I love a side stripe, you know. And they feel so soft. This isn't actually a cashmere set, although Wise do stock cashmere. It's merino wool, which is gorgeous but I think I might prefer this while I'm lounging about at home because hopefully we're going to have loads of candles on and have the heating on and you can kind of get a bit stuffy and a bit warm in loads and loads of layers at home so it's nice to have this lovely wool set so it comes with a matching knit as well 
with a really fun lightning bolt on the side. You can get all different designs. I think they have hearts and stars as well. But in particular, I love this gray tone with the rainbow stripes as well. I just think it's a really fun look and I'm so excited to wear it during the festivities. Tip number five, and technically again, not such a home interiors tip, but so, so cute, and it's twinning, so I've got to show you. You've got to get yourself a pair of family twinning pyjamas. I really, really wanted to get these last year. I saw on Next that they have such cute designs, but I was way too late and they had totally sold out. So I got there early this year, so make sure you do too. And I chose from Next the navy polar bear set and seeing as Alfie's new favourite word is bear, he is going to absolutely love these pyjamas. So I've got these for Alfie and they come with the matching leggings which are so cute and then I've got a set for myself and also for Alex. And then also to go alongside this, I could not resist and not show you guys these matching dressing gowns from my first years. You may remember in last week's video, I mentioned my first years. And for those of you, again, that don't know, they are a website, an incredible website, dedicated to baby wear and children's toys and clothes. But they do do a few adults tops and pyjamas and dressing gowns all personalized and so I've got this gorgeous grey with grey embroidery Alfie, I've got one for Alex and what a pink one for myself and they are just so cute with the little bear ears. Tip number six, I want to show you my favourite wreaths that I've got this season. So I'm going to show you two different styles if you prefer a real natural style wreath or if you prefer something a bit more modern and contemporary and long lasting. So this beautiful wreath arrived actually this morning, that's why I haven't taken it out of its wrapper yet. It's from a really beautiful florist called Petal and Grace and I love a real wreath. It's something about the smell and with all the beautiful evergreens and the lovely berries, I know it's gonna last. And that smell is just something you can't beat during Christmas time. So this I'm gonna hang on my front door just because it's that lovely welcoming scent and really homely essence the minute I walk in. But if you prefer, if you want to invest in a real wreath, but you prefer to have it indoors, you can enjoy the smell indoors. You can equally have this inside. You can put it in your fireplace. You could hang it up in an inside door. It could work either way. And just to show you the alternatives that I found for a bit more of a modern and contemporary look. So this one here is from Amara, which is a lovely interiors website. Check them out if you don't know about them. But I found this, I think it's got a really sweet eucalyptus vibe to it. It's faux, obviously, and it comes with flashing micro lights to it, which is a lovely touch. And then this one here is from Cox and Cox, which I think I would put indoors. It would look fab on a shelf in a fireplace, by a mirror and it will bring the festivities into your home but in a very chic way. Tip number seven and as I mentioned earlier in this video it's really important to invest in some lovely wintry scents for your home and also if you remember from my previous home hacks video you'll know I love a good candle at home but this time of year it's really important that I invest in lovely woody wintry scents. So I'm going to show you my three favourite this season. So up first is this beautiful Byredo candle. It just smells like a bonfire. It is so gorgeous. It is a smell that I don't think I would light in the summer. It's a really wintry, Christmassy, festive smell, but it's beautiful and it's all black and it looks gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's a little bit more on the pricier side than the others that I'm gonna show you. So it's a really great gift option and definitely something you should add to your wish list. This is a new one that I found from And Other Stories. And if you didn't know about Stories Homeware, you've got to check them out. They have some really lovely pieces for your home, unexpected pieces with such great price points. So this candle, I mean the packaging, look how great that is. It just looks so stylish with the marbling, the gold font. Again, actually, this is a great option for Secret Santa gifts if that's what you're thinking. You wanna buy something that looks and feels really special, but also at a really good price point. So it smells wintry still, a little bit like the Byredo candle, but slightly more creamier, warmer. 
it's really, really lovely. And then I want to show you this one from The White Company. And this brings me back to, I remember my mum had candles like this at home, but this one here, fir tree, it's just, it's so nostalgic. I think that's what's really important with scents. It really brings you back to that time. And especially this time of year, it's all about creating those family traditions. But this year, I'm gonna put this candle on a matte gold plate. I already know which one I've got in mind. I'm gonna put some potpourri around it as well, just to update my look a little bit, but also bring back that nostalgic memories that I have of being a little girl at home. Tip eight, and of course your Christmas tree. So this year, I've decided to order my Christmas tree online from a brilliant website called Patch Plants. So you can select which tree you want from the width, the needles, the height of it, you can select the date that you want it. So I've ordered mine for December the 1st and I'm so, so excited. And then to go alongside that is my tip number nine and that's creating a colour theme. So for your tree you want to select the colour theme for your baubles, the gifts under the tree, it's all really important to create that whole look together. And usually I quite like to mix silvers and golds together which I do really like, I think it's a really chic sophisticated look for a tree. But this year I'm going to create a bit of a winter wonderland vibe. So I'm going to go for all creams and whites, little touches of golds. Um, so I want to show you the baubles that I have ordered so far. So these you might remember from last week's video. I couldn't resist showing you them again from West Elm, these really sweet initial baubles in gold, which are gonna add a really lovely touch to my tree. And I'm so excited for Alfie to hang his A at the top of the tree this year. These I found from H&M Home, which are a really great price point, and I love the modern take with the origami style to them. And then I found these from Cox and Cox, which come in a whole box, a whole set. I love the wooden take on them with the gold detailing. Still a bit modern, but with traditional twist as well, which fits into my home perfectly. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. Maybe I've inspired you to get a little bit creative and start decorating your home for the season. And as always, if you can, just give me a little thumbs up just below, just so I can see if you've enjoyed it. And it would be great to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with all of our latest content. Every video goes live on Sunday evenings at 7.30. And so I look forward to seeing you guys next week and have a lovely week ahead. Bye.